take responsibility for yourself. Exercise your self-determination, your self-motivation, your free enterprise. Avoid selfish ambition, which is the dark side of human nature. Read all the stories on this website and watch the videos to learn some good ideas about exercising your creative freedom in your own holistic home office. I made a, you know, an intro for my videos and so I thought I would make a video about uh, using Linux and, and KDN Live to, you know, create content for your website. I'm recording the screen on my laptop, my Linux laptop. And I'm using, and I'm recording the this little video on the phone, and I can embed that in a bigger one. So let me get over here, and I'll go over to, to desktop number three, and start KDN Live Multimedia. You know, and it's just, uh, it's I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. And so I figure, you know, I'll make another video here just so I can use my new intro that I made. Um, you know, I, I don't know that I'm going to do a whole lot in here. I just wanted to show you, you know, you put your, you go in your, 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 see if you go over here, you got this and you could go, let's say, put one of these old ones in here just for something to use. Let me see how am I going to do this. Let's move this over here for a minute. I can just grab that and move it over there like that. And then click over here and see it's right there. And then I can take this. Let's move this over here. And take this right here and just drop it right there. The problem is, is I usually do my KDN Live editing on my Windows machine. I've been using KDN Live on, in Windows, and it works just fine, you know, so that, which is a good thing. And, uh, you know, and then I just now turn this on and try using it over here, and it's just, it ain't working right, right you know, and it, it, it works fine. I know that because I've used it, you know, in Linux, and, but for, I just wanted to make a, maybe a short video. KDN Live is one of the best tools that I'm, I, it's the tool I've been using a lot lately, right now, you know. And the, the other one that I've used pretty significantly is uh, Scribus. Use Scribus to create books, documents. And, um, and you know, and they learn how to do that. And you know, the, another one of the tools I like is uh, Inkscape. You know, Inkscape and 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 what is it? Uh, the one for uh, KDE is called Krita. Is another drawing tool. It's a painting tool. Another interesting thing I've noticed is I got to get in the habit of looking at the camera on my phone instead of the image of me on my phone because it's, you know, it's, it shows me looking off to the side of the screen, you know, it doesn't, and so I got to get in the habit of looking at the camera on the phone instead of the screen, and that's an, another little interesting thing I'm learning right now so and that's what you do you know you just keep working you read you watch videos you read you know documentation about your the applications you're using and you practice using them you use them and you it's like exercising those muscles you know those mental and physical muscles because there's definitely even though you would think you know writing on a website, developing a website is not a very physical deal. There is a lot of important physical activity involved in it, you know, and how, to, how you can handle your, move your hands around your computer and, you know, and just physical aspects, you know, you want to be healthy. It's important to take care of your health, you know, and if you're sitting in a chair all day long, every day, then that's going to be a significant issue. So, 
then if you if you are in that situation then you definitely want to work on improving your you know taking care of your physical health you know exercise to practice your qigong qigong is my favorite form of exercise you know and i totally recommend it to just about anybody i mean if you got some health issue that makes you not want to do that then pay attention you know and consult your doctor you know, I'm not a big fan of doctors, but, you know, they got some knowledge that's valuable and, and you should use that, you know. And um, I'd like to go to the uh, naturopathic doctor, you know, and, you know, talk to them. And they give, they, they usually teach me, you know, unlike like medical doctors, they don't teach you anything. You know, they just, they, they're so smart. They know what to do and everything. And they don't want to, you know, they're in control. Uh, you know, that's, I went to Idaho State University to be a drug rehab counselor and I got out of there. I said, I don't want to learn what you guys are teaching. You know, it's, it was obnoxious. Putting a doctor on a pedestal like that is just totally, in my opinion, contrary to the very concept of healing somebody you know so because that's the cause of most problems in the world is people thinking they're more or less important than other people and so you know I got out of there and I, I didn't want to learn what they had to teach and so but I do believe doctors are important it's not that we have doctors it's what they're teaching you know doctors and lawyers and teachers you know we need doctors and lawyers and teachers we just need them to be teaching the truth you know and one of the most important principles of the truth is that all men are created equal and you know and that's not mean that doesn't mean everybody's the same or anything like that you know because there's a lot of differences different personalities different interests different talents you know but we're all equal and everybody is precious and noble and we need to love and respect each other and um, but uh, working on KDN live you know it's it's complicated you know it's a very complicated tool and all these tools are really complicated and they're fun they're like it's like back in the 70s we built hot rod cars and now we're building the hot rod computers you know and it's uh it's fun and so i highly recommend that you do it if anybody that likes being likes teaching people you know uh, or likes being an artist you know you want to be an artist you know i'm teaching i'm teaching you how some tools i'm teaching about some tools they're free and open source tools they're not expensive like you, you can buy some really expensive ones, but these free and open source tools can do just about anything those expensive ones can. You know, uh, Inkscape, um, you know, KDN Live is free and open source. Uh, you know, so use this software, use this technology, build your own little channel of entertaining education using these tools and get good at it you know you got it repetition is important for learning just like in sports you know you keep doing the same thing over and over again you get better and better at it and that's what you need to do you know that's and i put up these videos even though they're pretty not very you know presentable they're rough drafts you know they're kind of like for you know this is a Holistic Home Office 1.0, you know, and these videos are kind of raw, but each, I'm getting better and better. I'm learning just by doing it over and over again, you know, and I'm telling my stories and the content in the stories is valuable. I, you know, definitely, I, it's a very high performance, entertaining education, you know, and if you watch these videos and read these stories, I promise you'll benefit you know no matter how rich you are or how smart you are or you know because you could have, be way I'm not the most smartest technician you know I, I didn't go to college to well I did go to college I st I went to one semester of college and I majored in computer science it was like I'm the one computer science course I took that year was a 
Fortran 77, you know, back then, back in 1983. But, and I was, uh, and I worked on anti-aircraft missiles in the Navy. So I do have some knowledge of computers and stuff like that. So technology, and I worked on, I was an auto mechanic. I went to an auto mechanic school. And so I, I'm, I like machines, you know, they're, they're fun, you know, and you build things and you can, it's like a big giant lever. And, um, you know, these machines are, are, are very advanced and they're getting more and more advanced. You know, at some point we'll be, you'll be able to get in your car and you don't even have to say anything. It just reads your mind and goes where you want to go. You know, <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. And, uh, you know, and the, and and then the next, after that, it'll be a flying machine that, you know, you can fly not only anywhere on Earth, but anywhere in the universe. You know, you could fly to a different star system and be a UFO in some other solar system, you know. But, uh, and uh, the machine, you don't even have to t push a button or tell the machine, you know, there's no steering wheel, you know, you just get in it and it goes wherever you want to go automatically. And that's kind of where we're headed. And every, it's a scary thing. I I agree. You know, artificial intelligence is a scary thing, man. And we need to be very careful about how we develop that. And I, I believe that free enterprise is a big part of that. You know, back in the days before World War II, it was family farmers. You know, that was capitalism where you had a family and they owned the farm and they all worked on the farm and they produced in the, or the store or whatever, you know, and you still had your big factories and everything like that. But most of the people were farmers, you know, and they produced food and they produced more food than they could eat. So they and sold it in the free marketplace and they, we fed the world. And then after World War II, they, all these corporations came in and bought all of And they had it set up to where the, when the parents died and they gave the, fam, the farm to the families, the, the kids, the kids had to pay a huge tax, the inheritance tax. And so they had, ended up having to sell the farm to pay the taxes. And that's how, and these corporations spot up all the farms. And so now, instead of family farms, we have these big giant corporations owning most of the farmland. And, you know, and, and the farmers are, are employees of the corporations. That's not capitalism. That's fascism is what that is. That's what fascism is. It's, you know, it's privately owned. The means of production is privately owned, but it's controlled by the state. And through corporations and that's how this works that's what fascism is and uh, you know and I, I like capitalism where you had the family owned the means of production and they controlled it they could produce whatever they wanted to of course that all depended on what the market wants and what people want to buy and that was you know that's capitalism and now I heard I've been reading stories that uh the corporations are buying up all the houses. So you can't even buy your, buy a house. You just have to rent one. And it's, that's, again, that's fascism, you know, where somebody else is getting all the benefits, you know, and everybody else is paying for it. You know, the, the people are paying for a few, a small minority to be prosperous. And that's not okay. That's not acceptable. That's not just. And it's not civilized. And so we got to work on it. And, you know, and by teaching you about free enterprise, about free and open source software and stuff like that is what I'm trying to do here. And um, to try to inspire as many people as I can to start building your own free enterprise, exercising your creative freedom your free enterprise and building something valuable and trading it in our one world, you know, our global cloud of artificial intelligence is what I'm doing, you know, because I want this to be, you know, free and open artificial intelligence. You know, I believe education should be free and open source. All education, medicine, should be 
free and open source. I mean, it's insane that we have to pay these just astronomical prices for these doctors to tell us what to do. We don't need no doctors telling us what to do. We didn't get rid of the cane so we could have doctors ordering us around. You know, I mean, we are free people and we should defend that freedom. It's important where I, I, I think freedom is under assault. Unlike anything that I've ever experienced in my lifetime, I've been around for 60 years and this is the greatest, you know, it's like the, and the enemy is within the gates of the, of the United States. I remember one time reading this book, uh, it was called America, and it was a high school textbook from the 1950s. And it showed how the United States was re really a superpower. Number two was far, you know, back, you know, the USSR, you know, they were far behind what we were doing back then as far as producing cars, wheat, cattle, refrigerators, everything. You know, we produced everything. Flooded the world market with all kinds of free stuff. Or I'm not free stuff, but I mean technology and food, cheap food. We flooded the world market with cheap food. And now we have the United Nations and it's the richest, greatest civilization in human history. But it's full of corruption and stuff that, you know, and the United States is full of corruption too, man. So I'm not like saying, oh, we're good and they're, and they're bad. I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying there's a lot of selfish ambition running wild in the, in the world today and we need to fix that. Selfish ambition is the dark side of human nature and we got to, you know, teach people to love and respect each other. And we're all in this, you know, one universal and divine civilization on this planet. And it's the whole entire human race. And we got to teach everyone about that. You know, and I think free and open source software is a big part. It's kind of like the wedge in the door, you know, and we got to keep pushing that, you know, and it's kind of communistic. Nobody owns free and open source software. So it's not capitalism, but it's, but it is free and open source software. It's not totalitarian. We got to be on guard against bullies. And we got to oppose bullies every time. Anytime somebody rises up and tries to order anybody else around, we the people of Earth need to stand up against that. And... Um, in any form and because there's all different kinds of forms of that and it's very kind of ancient and you know it's a kind of a old instinct and in human you know but we've kind of learned about that and human nature and grown out of it and we don't it's like those the the there was some experiment and they were watching this troop of chimpanzees or something in uh, south africa and uh the uh, they got some rotten meat and all the alpha males died because they're the only ones that ate the rotten meat you know because nobody else could, could eat and they wouldn't let anybody else eat well all the alpha males died and then after that anytime somebody started acting like an alpha male the whole tribe rose up against them and beat them down and said no we're not going back to that you know, once they had a taste of freedom and, you know, equality and justice for all, they did not allow any other, you know, and I don't know. That was an experiment that ha actually happened and it was documented. And other experiments have shown that, uh, you know, like in, they were investigating the public health, you know, service, the public service department of Great Britain and they looked at that the United Kingdom and they saw and they saw evidence of of actual physical harm of the people lower on the that what I call the imperial pyramid and they eliminated that they cut and and they just showed and documented that it was actually harmful the imperial imperial pyramid is harmful to human nature and civilization and now this idea of freedom, equality, and justice for all is new, and it's not, people are, you know, it's, it's, it's an experiment, and it's changing human nature and civilization. So, 
you know, get in there and practice. You use your KDN Live to produce videos and use Krita and, and GIMP and uh, Inkscape to create art for your website, your channel, your and just get really good at it. You know, practice, 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 you know, repetition, be a prolific artist, get your whole family involved in it and uh, create something valuable, something beautiful and valuable and, and trade it in our one worldwide you know, it's actually, it's even, you know, we got robots on just about every planet in the solar system now. So our civilization is growing and it's not just Earth. It's the whole entire, at this point, it's this solar system. I heard they were in contact with Voyager, one of the Voyagers, and it's far outside the solar system. So we're even, you know, so just uh, have fun. You know, have fun, enjoy making, you know, teaching people things, whatever it is you're interested in, whatever your specialty is, you know, get really good at it and teach other people how to do it. So thanks for uh, watching and uh, peace be with you.